All right, you guys, good morning, good morning. Happy Friday. We made it through the week, right? I hope you guys all had a wonderful week. And uh, yeah, let's look forward to the weekend. Get, uh, give yourself a little break. Maybe you sleep in, enjoy the sunshine. I think we're supposed to have some nice weather, uh, at least for the foreseeable future. So um, yeah, here we are, Friday. We're ready to do this. We're going to continue our uh, ritual over here, a routine, if you will, gentle stretches, followed by some mindfulness. And um, the quote we have for you today, I uh, really love this one, Just shared it with us. It says, learn to trust the journey even when you don't understand it. Learn to trust the journey even when you don't understand it. Right, and I think we all have an example of that where maybe life has taken us on a different path than um, than we had hoped for, than we saw ourselves following. Um, some might be harder than others for sure, but there's also generally maybe a reason behind it, right? Um, it's not always easy to see in the moment. We don't always understand it right away. Uh, sometimes it takes us a little longer to understand it. And sometimes it it's almost like, why? Why am I here? Why am I doing it this way? Why did I come down this path? And it's hard to try and trust that, right? But we all have our own paths. Um, I think everything in life does happen for a reason. And if you take the time to maybe step back and try and figure out um, why you're there, maybe it's a lesson, maybe it's just a small detour, right? We don't always exactly have the answers, um, but to try and have that little bit of faith right? Have that blind believing and say, okay, this is, this is the path I'm on. I'm here for a reason and this is what it's supposed to be, right? Um, whether you believe in a higher power or you believe in your own inner power, right? There is something that's taking you along this journey and to try and trust that um, and just go with the flow. So Again, not saying, not saying it's easy, right? Not saying that we don't have our, our days or our weeks or even our months where we're like, what the heck? What, what's going on here? Why, why is it like it? Why is it um, like this today or this year, whatever? And um, I think anyone can tell you that's been through maybe a tough time or a challenging situation, there's always something better on the side of it, right? It turns them into a stronger person. It allows their true colors to shine, their true power, their strength from within. So yeah, even, even when you don't always understand maybe why you're in that situation, try and get through it, go with the flow a little bit, and then know that on the other side of it, there's gonna be a little bit of a brighter light, right? So we'll hang on to that as we head into the weekend. I hope the weekend is wonderful for you guys. Um, whether it's relaxing or getting your Christmas decorations set up um, or maybe it's just staying inside being warm and cozy whatever it is for you I hope you guys have a lovely two days off and um, yeah we'll go ahead we'll get started with our normal routine let's get to the beginning position here and we'll uh, have a wonderful Friday <laughs> All right, you guys, go ahead, come on to that starting position. We're gonna bring our feet flat to the floor, have a bend in the knees, bring your hips heavy, rooting to the chair beneath you, and sit up nice and tall, lengthen the spine, relax the shoulders down, and we'll start as we always do with three deep breaths. I invite you, as always, to close the eyes as we inhale through the nose, pull the breath in. Exhale, open mouth, let the breath go. Inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Exhale, open mouth, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Nice job, you guys. Go ahead, blink those eyes back open. Come on back into the space that you're in. Obviously, you guys can tell I'm in the back room again. So for you guys out in the great room that are joining, go ahead, 
I'm on to that starting position for those of you at home. Thank you as always for tuning in and we will get going. Let's start with the legs here, lower extremities. Go ahead and bring them straight out in front of you. And then we'll start by pointing and flexing the feet here. Good, so taking the toes away from the body and back towards, away and towards. Good, nice job you guys. As always, keep in mind, if you're unable to see physical motion in the body, I invite you to close the eyes and see if you can watch as the body moves energetically. <sighs> All right, so pairing that intention, pairing the visualization with the action, and of course, continuing to move the breath. <sighs> Nice job, you guys. All right, keep those legs nice and long, but we'll go ahead and rest the heels down on the floor. Have your toes flex back into your body. Take a breath in as you sit up tall, and as you exhale, gently reach down in the direction of your toes. Good, so now maybe your hands come to your feet, or maybe you're at about the shins or even the knees. Right, just trusting wherever your body is taking you today. Maybe you don't understand the sensations that are coming up. Or maybe you don't quite understand what you're feeling in your body. But that's okay. Tune into the breath. Softly in, softly out, and just trust the process. Bringing awareness to the back of the legs. Noticing what you feel in the calves and the hamstrings. And again, just continuing to breathe. Mm. Nice job, you guys. As you're ready, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly, come on back up to seated. Nice job, you guys. Put a bend in the knees again. Bring your feet flat to the floor once more. Return to that starting position and we'll take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome job, you guys. All right, we're going to get into our inner thighs here, our hip adductors. So we're taking the knees and drawing them away from one another, right? Just gently opening up the inside of our thighs here. Now you can continue to use the muscles of the hips and the legs here to pull the knees away from one another. Or if it feels okay, if it's available, using your hand or maybe your forearm, just add a little extra pressure to the inside of those legs. Maybe deepening the stretch gently. Hmm. Nice job, you guys. Keep moving the breath softly in and softly out. So good, continue to relax the shoulders, let go of any tension in the jaw. Hmm. Nice job, you guys. Take another inhale here. And exhale slowly, slowly pull those knees together. Come on back towards midline. And once again, we'll take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome job. All right, we're gonna get into the back side of our hips now. So returning to that starting position, feel your legs grounding to the floor beneath you. Lengthen the spine, sit up tall, take a breath in. And then we'll start with our right leg here, drawing that knee gently in towards the body here. Giving it an easy squeeze into the torso. And then breathing into the back side of that hip, noticing what you feel. You can stay here in this position or bring this leg over the other one. And once again, noticing, right? What's coming up? What sensations do you feel in your body? Can you trust the process? Trust this moment? And of course, return to the breath. Softly in and softly out. Nice job, you guys. You're ready, take another inhale. And as you exhale, slowly release, let that leg go. So good, we'll go ahead and switch sides once more. Sit up tall, lengthen the spine, breathe in. And then we'll bring our left knee up into the body here. 
looking at when squeezing it in. Again, bringing awareness to the back of the hip here on the left side this time. You can stay here or you have the option of bringing your leg over to the other side. And then continue to notice. What do you feel? What sensations come up? Maybe there's a lack of sensation. No right or wrong here. Just feeling into the moment, trusting the process, and continuing to breathe. <sighs> Good, go ahead, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly release, let that leg go. Nice job, you guys. We'll take our breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome job. All right, we are all done with the legs. We're going to get into the trunk now. So once more, back to the starting position. Feet flat, hips grounded, spine is nice and long. Sit up tall as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, gently twist over to the right. Good. Again, bringing the hands to a position of your choice, wherever it feels good, maybe on the leg or the chair, and then continue breathing. Create space and length as you inhale, and as you exhale, gently deepen the twist. Maybe the gaze comes over the right shoulder. Good. Softly in, softly out with the breath. Take another inhale here, and exhale slowly, slowly, come on back towards center. <sighs> nice job, you guys. We'll switch sides once more. Inhale, sit up tall. As you exhale, gently twist over to the left. So good. Again, hands to a position of your choice, wherever it feels comfortable, wherever you can create a little leverage, and then continue to move the breath. Inhale, lengthen the spine, sit up tall. Exhale, gently deepen the twist. Maybe bring the gaze over the left shoulder. Breathing into sensation, easing into the stretch. Nice job, you guys. Take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly, come on back towards center. Oh, I always love that one. It's like ringing out the torso, right? Nice little detox there. Come on back to the starting position. We'll take our breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth. Exhale. So good. Keep those feet exactly where they're at. We're now going to round forward, starting to bring our hands down towards the floor. Maybe they rest at the feet. Maybe your elbows are even at your knees. Wherever you can relax into the stretch, just allowing the low back, your lumbar spine to gently stretch open here. If it feels okay, you can release the weight of your head down towards the ground, further opening the back body, allowing the muscles and the tissues to soften. If there's any compression or any restriction in the breath, just back off a little bit. Finding a place that feels best in your body while continuing to move the breath. Softly in, softly out. Nice job, you guys. As you're ready, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly, 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 come on back up towards seated. Ah, oh, awesome job, you guys. Bring that spine back in line. Let your blood pressure resettle. And take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Awesome job, you guys. All right, we're going to get into the front of our body now. So again, coming to that starting position, sit up tall, lengthen through the trunk, take a breath in, and then squeeze the shoulder blades together here. Good, pulling the muscles and the tissues of the back body in towards one another allowing the chest to broaden and open here. And then knowing that you have a couple options, right? Depending on the height of the chair, you can take your spine up and over, further opening the front of the torso here. Maybe the arms come to either sides. 
Perhaps the gaze comes gently towards the ceiling. And you don't want to crank on the neck here. You want to keep the blood flow and the air flow without restriction. And then just continue to breathe. Breathing into the belly and the chest, feeling the tissues around the neck and the throat. Mm. Feeling an expansion with every inhale and a softening with every exhale. Nice job, you guys. Continue moving the breath here, slow and steady. When you're ready, take another inhale. And exhale slowly, slowly. Come on back towards center. Ah, oh, nice job, you guys. Let's take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Awesome job. All right, we are done with our trunk, so we're going to get into our arms here, our upper extremities. So again, bring the body back to midline. Let your legs and your hips be heavy. Rooting down towards the floor. Sit up nice and tall. Lengthen up through the upper body. And then we'll get into flexion here at the shoulder. So if available, you want to be able to lift both arms up. You can take fingers in between, maybe a cup grip, using one hand to assist the other. Or you always do have the option of just raising one arm. So wherever you're at, starting position, take a breath in. And lift those arms up and away from the body. Good. Keep the breath moving, smooth and steady. And keeping in mind, right, this whole range is considered flexion. So if your arms are up overhead, make sure the shoulders are relaxed. There shouldn't be any forcing or pinching. If there is, just back off a little bit, right? Wherever your arms end up is fine, as long as it feels good in your body. Listening to the sensation, feeling into it, and continuing to move the breath. Good, allowing the stretch to be nice and easy here. Good, when you're ready, take another inhale. And as you exhale, slowly, 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 slowly lower those arms down. Ha. So good, you guys. Allow those shoulders to be nice and heavy. And let's take that breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. So wonderful. Okay, um, shoulder blades, scapular glides. Forgot there for a second. So um, for you guys in the front room that are out in, in the program, you can use the tables in front of you to place your hands on. Uh, for you guys at home, I'm gonna turn to the side and show you what that looks like. So if you have a flat surface, I recommend placing your hands on top of it. Maybe it's a table or a chair, maybe it's even your couch, or an assistive device if that allows a little support. And then what we're going to do is just pull those arms away from the body. And we're trying to draw the shoulder blades around the torso. Right? So it's a small motion in the scapula. If you need to feel the difference, you can pull them in towards one another, squeezing them to the middle of the back, and then draw them away from each other. Right? As you continue to move the arms up and away from the torso, allow those shoulder blades to move up and around the rib cage. Good. And then continue breathing, relaxing the shoulders, maybe relax the neck and the jaw. Just letting go of any extra tension. Hmm. Nice job, you guys. When you're ready, take another breath in. And as you exhale, slowly, 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 come on back up towards seated. Ah, so good. Bring those shoulder blades back to the back of your torso. And then we'll return to the beginning position. I'll face you once more. Come on back to midline and let's breathe in to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Nice job, you guys. All right, moving along, we're going to get into the backside of our shoulders here. 
So return to that starting position, sit up nice and tall, lengthen the spine, take a breath in, and then we'll bring our right arm up and across the body. Now we always have a couple options here, right? One is just reaching that hand away from you, crossing the line. Two, you can bring your hand to the other shoulder, give it a little support. And then three, if available, using your free hand to pull that arm across the body. Good, and then continue moving the breath, right? Softly in and softly out. Good, releasing any tension. Backing off if you feel any forcing or any pain. Go ahead, take another inhale here. And as you exhale, slowly lower, let that arm go. All right, we'll switch sides once more, nice and tall with the spine, breathe in. And then we'll bring our left arm up and across the body. Nice job, you guys. So again, option one, reaching that hand away from you. Option two, bringing your hand to the other shoulder. And then three, if available, using that free arm to gently bring the arm across the torso. Coming back to the breath, tuning into sensation, and just listening to your body. Nice job, you guys. Slow and steady here. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, slowly release that arm. Let it go. Good. Let the shoulders be heavy here. And we'll take our breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. So, so good. Um, Shoulder rolls, let's get into it, right? Release any little bit of extra tension here. Drawing those shoulders up to the ears, and back down, up to the ears, and back down. <sighs> Good, maybe going forwards as well as backwards. <sighs> maybe you go side to side, right? Whatever feels okay. Just letting this feel like a mini massage, releasing any extra tightness, any extra holding. Ah, good. When you're ready, come on back to that starting position. We'll lengthen the spine once more while the lower half of our body is heavy, rooting towards the floor. Relax the shoulders down, reach the crown of the head towards the ceiling, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, gently drop the right ear over to the right shoulder. Hmm. Nice job, you guys. If it feels okay, maybe close the eyes. We'll start to release the weight of the head over towards the floor. Letting gravity gently draw it down. Shoulders are relaxed. And continue to breathe. Breathe into the left side of the neck, allowing the muscles to soften, watching as the tissues gently stretch away from one another. And just continue easing into the stretch, breathing into sensation, relaxing a little more every cycle of breath. Another inhale. And as you exhale, slowly, 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 come on back towards seated. Good. Bringing that head back in line, we'll go ahead and we'll switch to other, the other side. So let's inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, bring the left ear down to the left. Again, closing the eyes if that feels okay. Allowing the weight of the body to be heavy. Head melting over towards the floor. Shoulders relaxing down towards your hips. And continue moving the breath. Breathing in to the right side of the neck. Watching and feeling. Tissues soften, 
allowing the muscles to melt around the bones. And continuing to breathe. Softly in. Softly out. Nice job, you guys. When you're ready, take another inhale. And as you exhale, slowly begin to drop the chin down towards the chest. And just start to make small circles with the head and the neck. Easing into the rotation, easing into the stretch. Maybe moving a little slower than you think you should. Allowing the stretch to travel through all corners of the cervical spine. When you're ready, switch directions. Reversing the rotation. Evening out the stretch. And continuing to breathe. Breathing into sensation. Releasing any tension in the body. When you're ready, go ahead, bring that head back in line with the spine. We'll return to that starting position once more. Feet are flat, knees bent, hips are heavy, grounding down into the chair beneath you. Sit up tall, lengthen the spine here as you relax the shoulders down. And we'll finish just as we started with three deep breaths. Once more, I invite you to close the eyes as we inhale through the nose, pull the breath in. Exhale, open mouth, let the breath go. Inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Exhale, open mouth, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Nice job, you guys. When you're ready, open those eyes. Come on back into the space that you're in. And that ends our stretches for today. So thank you guys so much for joining for that portion. Um, I will get set up for mindfulness, so if you hold tight, I'll be with you in a second. Thanks. All right, you guys. Let's see. Who do we have out there? Hello, Steve. What's up? What's happening? Happy Friday out there, sir. Oh, and happy Friday to everyone else that's tuning in, right? Someone asked what I was doing this weekend, and I think in the world of COVID and 2020, there hasn't been much ever to do. And uh, I realized how excited I get just to sleep in, <laughs> right? Not wake up before 6 a.m. It's, uh, it's the little things, right? They bring you joy sometimes. All right, let's go ahead and get set up for mindfulness here. We got the timer on. All right. You know, and I'll, I'll say that's maybe an example of trusting the journey, right? Um, no one would have expected that our paths would take us this way this year. Um, obviously, a lot of unplanned uh, detours and having our life look a little bit different than what we would have expected. And yet, trying to find those moments of peace, trying to find the life lessons or um, the little gifts of sleeping in on a Saturday because you have nothing else to do, right? Maybe giving your body that rest, your mind that rest. Um, I know for me, more than anything this year, I've, I've realized that maybe I took those quiet moments for granted. And I've just been trying to enjoy that, um, enjoy the time to maybe call friends or I know, yes, maybe one more Zoom call, but when else in your life have you ever been able to have that amount of communication with people? 
Um, it will be great, right, to, to get back to our friends and family and hug each other and have big group gatherings. And then when we return to that, right, maybe that's, that's what we'll learn. Okay, this year was teaching us that. Our year was teaching us to not take for granted those moments, right? You know, before we, we did what we want whenever we wanted. And maybe this was a lesson in just um, appreciating those little things. So it's always hard in the middle of it. I know this year has been one big life lesson. And sometimes you're like, all right, enough with the hard lessons. Just someone give me the answer. <laughs> um, but it's a practice. We practice trusting the process. We practice trusting whatever journey um, our life has taken us on. And, uh, and hopefully at the end of that journey, we can look back and say, all right, it's, it's all good. It made a little bit of sense. And in the meantime, we will continue to do our mindfulness to help us with that trusting, right? We know it's not easy. We have so many questions on a daily basis. Um, oftentimes we get answers that we don't like or unexpected answers. Sometimes we get no answers. And so how do we trust that, right? How do we say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna sit back and relax and just let it be. Well, mindfulness is one way to help with it. Um, it's, it doesn't fix it all. It doesn't change the situation, but it maybe helps to calm your mind a little bit and allow a slight shift in perspective, right? So that maybe a trusting perspective can come into play. And so this week we have been doing the simple practice of just one breath. Um, I say simple in quotations because it's always easier said than done. But the intention with this practice, as well as all of our mindfulness practices, is to allow ourselves to get out of the mind, right? So much mental chatter, so many thoughts. Um, the brain is very powerful, and that's a blessing and a curse at times. Um, we want it to think, we want it to plan, we want it to problem solve, but then when it kicks into overdrive and we're stuck there, then how do we how do we get out of that? How do we turn back into this moment? How do we let go of the negative worry and maybe shift our perspective to one of understanding or openness or trust, right? And so with this, all I invite you to do is watch the breath, right? I'll guide you guys through it, as I always do. Um, we will hear two bells. One will indicate our time is starting. And the other will indicate that our time has ended. What you choose to do with that time in between is entirely up to you. But I simply invite you to come into this space, come into this moment, and try to let go, try to trust. So wherever you're at, find a nice, comfortable seat. Allow the body to be heavy. Let the mind soften. Try and release any thoughts. Hmm. So once again, for the next several minutes, I invite you to simply show up without any agenda, without any expectations. See if you can release any worry fear, letting go of any negative mental activity, and see if you can let yourself trust these next several moments. Trust them to just be, to just feel. 
maybe try to accept that they're here for a reason. If you haven't already, I invite you to close your eyes. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. Allow your awareness and your attention to turn inward. Again, releasing any mental chatter, any external thoughts, any outside distractions. Start to come into your body, sensing it from the inside out. your eyes closed, see if you can see yourself. Visualizing, using the mind's eye, imagining, picturing, however you describe it. Allow yourself to observe yourself, feel yourself, sense yourself from head to toe, front to back, one side to the other, and inside to out. Letting your awareness focus on both your physical and energetic bodies. Many parts, but all connected. Feeling into your entire being, fully complete. Take a soft breath in. And a soft breath out. Take a soft breath in. And a soft breath out. As you're ready, when you're ready, start to bring all of your awareness, all of your attention to your breath. Simply watching it without trying to change it. See if you can watch it. Watch as it travels into your body, enters through the nose, passes down the throat, fills your lungs. And then watch it in reverse, emptying the lungs, passing out the throat, back out the nose and mouth. And again, watch as it travels in, and watch as it travels out. Watch as it travels in, watch as it travels out. No need to control it or change it. Simply observe it. See the magic happen on each cycle of breath. Watch as your physical form changes, your energetic body lightens up. Feel your whole body come alive with every inhale. And then as you exhale, watch as the body softens, 
Lungs sink down. Air passes back out through the nose and mouth. Your whole form relaxes. And again, watch as the breath travels in. And then watch as the breath travels out. Watch as the breath travels in. Watch as the breath travels out. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Continuing to follow the breath in this way. No need to change. No expectation on what it looks like or feels like. Simply observe. Simply watch. And at any point, if your mind wanders, your attention goes elsewhere, that's okay. Notice where your focus shifted to. Acknowledge it for a moment. And as quickly as you got distracted, allow yourself to come back. Let go of any other thoughts and return to the breath. Return to this moment. Watching each inhalation and each exhalation. Watching each inhalation. Watching each exhalation. Inhalation. Exhalation. If you haven't yet already, try to follow the breath for one full cycle, starting at the very beginning as the breath travels into the body, swirling in your lungs, and then watch as it immediately transforms back into the exhale, emptying the lungs, past the throat, out the nose and mouth. One complete cycle of breath. Watch the air travel in, and watch the air travel out. Watch the air travel in, and watch the air travel out. If you get distracted within that one cycle, that's okay. Know that you can start again. Every breath, you have a new opportunity to refocus, reconnect, and return to the present. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. You were able to watch the breath for one full cycle. I invite you to try and watch for two. If you can complete two, 
Try and observe for three. And if you can watch for three, go for four. And then just keep going. Watching every breath in and every breath out. Every breath in and every breath out. And every breath in every breath out. point you get distracted or your mind wanders that's okay give yourself a little grace a little compassion allow yourself to trust the process trust the process and give yourself permission to return to the breath Refocus, reconnect with the present. Watching each inhale, watching each exhale. Starting with just one cycle. Just one breath. And knowing that as long as the breath is moving, you have infinite amount of chances to tune in. Sense into your body. Observe the breath. Focus on right here right now. Continuing to watch the flow of breath. No need to change it. No need to adjust it. Simply observe. Noticing how your body expands, fills up, molds around the breath itself. And then with the exhale, watch as your body softens. Follow the breath back out through the nose, back out the mouth. And 
Continuing to breathe in this way. Observing each inhale. Observing each exhale. And as we come into the final few minutes of our practice, I will let go of my verbal guidance and continue to breathe with all of you. We'll hear one final bell indicating that our time and practice have ended. And until then, I invite you to continue to breathe. I'm watching every inhale. I'm watching every exhale. Returning to the breath at any point you get distracted. Simply watching the breath in. Watching the breath out. Watching the breath in and watching the breath out. Breath in, breath out. Take a soft breath in, and then a soft breath out. Take a soft breath in, and then a soft breath out. Starting to bring your awareness back into your entire body. Maybe deepening the breath. Find some motion in the fingers and the toes, stirring the energy. If you wish to stay here breathing, by all means, please do so. Otherwise, as you're ready, when you're ready, softly, blink the eyes back open. Come on back into the space that you're in. Maybe deepen the breath, wake up the body. As always, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in, participating, being present. For those of you out in the great room, thank you guys very much. 
for all of you joining us virtually. We love continuing to connect with you. And uh, we're very, very grateful for this opportunity. So thank you all very much. We hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, we will be back this afternoon. One more class for the day, 1.30 Mountain Time, uh, our rehabilitative strengthening. And then we'll be back again Monday morning at 10 o'clock for another mindfulness. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, have a beautiful weekend, and continue to trust your journey. As always, thank you guys so much. Take care of yourselves, and please continue to take care of each other. Thanks.